Hello, welcome back. In this segment, we will prove that the group Z star N is actually a multiplicative group. Okay. Um, what is a group? You probably remember that a group has to satisfy a bunch of properties. Closure is the first one usually. When you multiply two numbers, the result must be an element in the group. Um, identity element must be there. Associative property must be true. And every element must have an inverse. In this case, multiplicative inverse. When you multiply, you should get answer to be one. Okay. And uh, in fact, Z star N is actually an abelian group, meaning multiplication is commutative in this group. Okay, let's prove all of these properties. Okay, what is Z star N, by the way? Z star N means set of all elements. Um, sometimes I use capital letter, sometimes small letter N, it doesn't matter, um, it should be clear. Um, in, in programs, we usually use small N, that's the reason it gets sometimes mixed up, but it should be clear in the context, from the context. So, he, Z star N of numbers that are relatively prime to N, meaning um, B comma N is equal to one. Okay, GCD, as we talked about earlier, is the greatest common divisor. So let me show you an example. For example, uh, Z star, say six, okay? You'll have numbers uh, one, uh, two will not be there because GCD of two and six is, is two. Three will not be there because GCD is three. Uh, four will not be there because four and six GCD is two. Uh, five will be there because GCD of five and six is uh, one. Okay, so these are the only two elements. Okay, we consider all elements, of course, B belong uh, B, uh, less than n. Um, so uh, I claim that this set is a multiplicative group. Okay, um, multiplication is done by just multiplying the two numbers and then we do a mod n. Okay, all right. Let's start listing the properties. We need to prove closure, meaning you multiply two numbers, uh, X and Y um, from the group. The result is also an element in the group. That's the property of a closure. And then identity, of course, it's clear. One is always in the in the um, set Z star N because one uh, GCD with any other number is one, right? Any other non-zero number. Okay, identity, associative, uh, and multiplicative universe, associative property multiplicative inverse property. Um, since I also said abelian group, it's a commutative property. Okay, these are the five properties we need to prove for this set to be a, an abelian group. Okay, let me show you the simple ones first. Um, IDGD is clear, right? Because by definition, GCD of one comma uh, N is one. Therefore, one must be an element in the group uh, Z star N. Okay, one belongs to Z star N, therefore we say one is the identity element. Furthermore, all elements that you multiply with one, you get the element back. So meaning um, you take an element A um, and you multiply it with one, you get A. This is not surprising. So one is the identity element. Okay, we are done with this. Associative property is true because when you multiply um, three numbers in different orders, you get the same answer. A times B times C is same as A times B times C. This is true in integers. And this is also true in modular integers, okay? So no need to worry about associative. Multiplicative property, uh, what is this? Multiplicative inverse, okay? This is important. To prove uh, every element as multiplicative inverse, what we have, we have to prove is that if you take an element uh, B, we need to show B inverse exists such that B times B inverse is one, okay? How do we prove this? Let's take an element B in the group uh, Z star N. What can we know? We know immediately that GCD of B comma N is one. Since GCD of B comma N is one, we earlier proved that um, modulus, uh, modular inverse must exist. Okay, we proved that in a different segment. We proved that B inverse exists. All right, this is just coming from the other theorem. So multiplicative inverse is done. Commutative is clear because we can multiply two numbers in different orders, we get the same answer. This is also true in modular arithmetic. Okay, all right. So we proved all of this except closure, which is a little bit involved. Let me show you now the closure property. Okay, so how do we prove closure? So in order to prove closure, we take two elements, say A and B, and we need to prove A times B mod N is an element of the group, right? That, that means it's closure, okay, it's closed. Okay, so how do we do that? We can do it easily as follows. We take two elements, A and B, they both belong to um, C star N, okay. What can we say about A and B now? We know that um, GCD of uh, A comma N is one, and uh, GCD of uh, B comma N is one. That's the definition of uh, the group Z star N, okay? All right, keep this in mind for a moment. What can we say about uh, the multiplicative inverse of AB? We don't know whether AB belongs to Z star N, that's something we need to prove, but we do know that 
um, a b times b inverse a inverse a is one and inverse exists because we just proved that earlier okay this is one because b into b inverse is one a into a inverse is one so this is one that means a b is invertible okay whenever you uh, we proved in, in in a previous segment that in one of the previous segments rather uh, that when you multiply two numbers and the answer is one then one is an invertible element okay that means a b is invertible a b is invertible because you are able to find an inverse okay a b is invertible in mod n which means gcd of a b mod n in in mod n must be one okay that's the definition of gcd and invertible equivalence we we proved that also earlier so a b is in mod n that means uh, what is the conclusion now okay um well let me re uh, restate this we need to show a b belongs to z star n okay in order to do that we need to come to the conclusion that um a b gcd with the n is one okay how do we go about it uh, we know the inverse of a b is b inverse a inverse that means a b is invertible when a b is invertible it implies that um this is invertible um it implies that gcd of a b comma n is one that's something that we proved okay if an element is invertible in n that element mod n is one uh, in terms of gcd okay so that means ab belongs to the group z star n okay this is important to get it right um if an element a is invertible a is invertible what it means is that um gcd of uh, a comma n must be one that is the meaning of invertible we proved this two statements are equal okay this statement is equal to saying that gcd of um, a comma n is one. Okay, this is the theorem that we have used to prove the closure property. Okay, here is the proof. Right, we know that A B has inverse B inverse A inverse because when you multiply, we get one, which means A B is invertible, which means G C D of A A B comma n is one according to this theorem. All right, so we proved all the properties. Therefore, Z star n is a multiplicative group. Uh, you will encounter this group many times in cryptography, especially during um, R S A in particular. R S A also works in uh, regular Zn uh, from uh, zero through n minus one, um, but most of the elements of the group actually uh, are here in Z star n. Anyway, that's not important at this point. All uh, right, so okay, that's basically it. Thank you very much.